Kings 8, 28 through 30. Yet have respect for the prayer of your servant, for, the, for his supplication, the Lord my God. Lord my God. To listen to the cry and the prayer which your servant prays before you this day. So Solomon's referring to his own prayer. And he's praying. Um, Solomon's, we as believers know God hears all our prayers. And um, so Solomon was being heard. But he also knew that, okay, who is he to be heard by God? He's acting in a humbleness by reacting this way. We also, as believers, need to understand, yes, why God hears our prayers and does care about us. We ain't entitled to it. It's a blessing based on his mercy and love that we get. Not something we deserve or earn or entitled to. So we should stay humble as Solomon is here in this verse. Verse 29. That your eyes may be open towards the, this house night and day. Even towards this, the peace of which you have said. My name shall be there to listen to the prayer which your servant shall pray towards this place. So, as a servant is anyone, it ain't necessarily just him at this point due to the fact that it would later also be others. Um, so, but he's saying, reminding God of this, and sometimes to remind is to remind herself, God ain't gonna forget his promises. But he's also saying, for this has to be something. Remember this. Yes, he's saying, he's realizing that this house, this temple, is just a building. Without the Lord, it ain't nothing but a bunch of stones. It's the Lord acknowledging it as a place of their service and worship to him. That it matters. And he's... Praying that that it matters. Verse 30. Listen you to the supplication of your servant. He's talking to God. And your people Israel when they shall pray towards this place. Yes, here in heaven. Your dwelling place. And when you here forgive. So God would keep this in his anyway. Oftentimes, if uh, things never went bad for them, typically, as long as they were seeking God. The problem was they'd seek things other than God when things got good, and he'd allow them to be punished. Um, but he always heard their prayers. He always accepted their forgiveness. And every time we mess up, he's typically there to receive us back. If we're genuine about going back to him. Often... No, people can have hard hearts where they can't get right with God because of their own heart. But God can also soften in that heart to allow them to come to Him for forgiveness. The key to it is prayer and seeking God. <clears throat> 